Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something fun, uh, something that Photoshop was really made for and that's to take random animals and just bring them together and make something that's just really silly and uh, funny and sometimes scary. So I hope that you'll enjoy this uh, short little tutorial. We're gonna be taking a few pictures that I got off of uh, some free stock websites, uh, Pixabay and also Unsplash. So you can download these pictures there or you can get your own pictures as well. So we got this picture of a flamingo and we got this picture of a snake. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to uh, blend these two together and create some kind of new animal that does not exist in real life. And actually that's probably good because this is gonna be a little terrifying, but this is just gonna be a short tutorial and uh, it's not gonna be very long. If you are interested in more uh, in-depth tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account with many, many Photoshop tutorials. And uh, this is the website uh, where you can download them. I'll include a link in the description below, but these are hours and hours long and uh, all of the PSD files are included and the stock images. And I go over a lot of things in detail. So th just check those out if you want to uh, uh, learn more about uh, my Photoshop editing uh, techniques. But for today, we're gonna do something a little simple. Let's go ahead and start uh, working on this snake flamingo. I'm not sure what we're going to call it when we're done. Uh, what I've already done though is I have uh, cut the snake out of the background. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got here. And uh, we're only going to use part of the snake. So I've already got him uh, cut out and I'm just going to rotate it like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of uh, mold this snake, like his neck part, and it's going to be where the flamingo is at. So I'm going to put uh, the snake pretty much right in this area, I think right there. The snake has, you know, a very skinny, long neck, and so does the flamingo. So I thought this would be kind of a cool little picture uh, to bring together. So something kind of like that I think is going to be fine. Now what we have to do, of course, is get rid of this flamingo's head, and that's pretty easy. I'm just going to use the clone stamp tool over here on the left. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush about 500 pixels big or so, hit uh, the Alt key on my keyboard and just kind of sample this little uh, section up here that's got the rocks and everything. And I'm just gonna bring it right here to where his head's at. And I'm gonna paint directly on the flamingo layer, just like that. And now his head is gone, just like that. That was pretty simple to do, just the clone stamp tool. And uh, it's, it's really helpful when the background is nice and uh, blurry and uh, looks very similar. So now his, uh, his head is gone. We've got our snake right here. And what we want to do is we want to uh, just kind of uh, blend this together the best that we can. So what I'm going to do is I think it's already matched in there as far as the size. I think the size looks pretty good, but you can always make it bigger or smaller if you need to make sure that size lines up. And then you want to get a layer mask and uh, you just want to get a very low flow here. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fade the feathers into the snake just like that. Okay, so we want a very like soft uh, transition here. So something kind of like that. If we got too much of our head removed, we can always go back uh, to this image and just erase part of that clone work that we did. Something kind of like that I think looks pretty good. Okay, just a nice little gradual uh, transition here. Again, I would probably spend a lot more time on this if this wasn't like a five or 10 minute tutorial. I would try to get it as, as good as I can, but I think something like that's gonna look good for now. All right, so the next thing we want to do, that looks terrifying as it is, but we what we want to do is make it look a little bit more realistic, I guess, if that's the word we want to use here. Uh, what we're gonna do is kind of make him look that pink color. So this is the original image. And uh, let's sample some of these colors, like these bright uh, pink, orangish colors here. This is the color we're working with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this on top of the snake, kind of like this. I'm just going to paint that color right on top of the snake, just like that. And I, we don't want to completely like get rid of the texture, but we'll, we'll just kind of lower the opacity just a little bit. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade that out again. So we're going to fade out that color once we get towards the top. So we want the very top to be nice and brown and black like the colors it's supposed to be. But as it goes further and further down uh, to the actual uh, flamingo, we want it to look uh, closer to that color. Now, another thing that I notice is that on top of this flamingo, we have some bright highlights. And so on the right side, you see the top of the head and you see going down the neck. It's nice and bright. It's got that bright color edge on it. So we want to do that as well to uh, the snake. So I'm just going to get a levels adjustment and then bring our highlights way up and our uh, midtones here, just kind of like that. Nice and bright. Uh, we can even add a little bit of red in there if we want to. And then invert that. Control I inverts it. And then what we'll do is we'll just paint white right on the edge of this snake. So just like that. So now what we're doing is we're trying to mimic the uh, the flamingo's highlights, which is on this right side. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to mimic that so it looks a little bit more um, of a realistic composite here. So nice and bright right here on the right side, just like that. All right, so I think that's pretty much all we're going to do for this one today. This was pretty simple edit, um, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this thing as close to the uh, the flamingo as we can. So the, let me go through the steps that we did earlier. First of all, we've got our snake. We cut the snake out, and then we rotated the snake so it, it fit uh, along where this neck would be. But we had to get rid of the head, so we just used the clone stamp tool, put the snake head back over top of it, add a little bit of pink to the bottom of it, and then also add a little bit of highlight to the right side to mimic the original flamingo picture. Uh, but that's pretty much the the, uh, the strategy for making these, these images. You're going to try to to blend them, make the shapes look the same, the colors and the highlights as well, and uh, just have fun with it. Take these skills and, and get some random animals and uh, combine them together and see what you guys can create. But that's all I've got for today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again tomorrow morning and every other day in June. Uh, we're going to have a new tutorial every day, so I hope to see you tomorrow morning for a brand new video.